right. Well, it's Tuesday. I guess everybody has a, had a chance to watch it. So I guess we can talk about it now. This is what had happened on episode one of Lovecraft Country. Let's go. What's really good, guys? It's your boy, Spotted Minutes, a.k.a. D-Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co-host, Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to What Had Happened was our little brief synopsis and breakdown of what we just previously watched and reviewed. Sometimes we do it for wrestling, a lot of times we do it for some, some movies and shows, but it's gonna be the first one that we do it for. Before we get started, I know I said a lot right there, Y'all know the drill. If you guys like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon. Help us get to a thousand people. Also, make sure to like any of the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful now. Let's get it going. Lovecraft Country just started this past Sunday. Uh, we have showrunner Misha Green giving us all that good, 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 good content uh, when it comes down to it, uh, working with uh, some stuff happening in the 1950s. We got ourselves some monsters, racial tension, drama, all that good stuff. But here's how we're gonna be running this one right here. We're gonna give you a brief episode breakdown first, and then we're going to give you our take on how everything went down right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit the breakdown. D, drop the title card right about now. So for episode one of Lovecraft Country, we learn about who Atticus Freeman is. Uh, he c comes back since it's the 1950s, presumably from the uh, Korean War. Yeah, because uh, I, I thought it was World War II. Same here at first, but, but I was, forgot it was the yeah, 50s. So it's yeah. most likely going to be the Korean War that he's coming back from. Uh, he used to be this nerdy, skinny kid with, uh, they said, Coke bottle glasses. They do a really good job yeah. of introducing us to him. Uh, and what his interests are because like the very first scene that we have of him is him you know you know on the battlefield and dreaming of ufos overhead and jackie robinson coming to slay that was actually kind of cool actually. it was very cool it's a very yeah. great way to, to start the scene and let us know exactly who this guy is uh he's coming back home because his father has gone missing from back home 1950 chicago uh to just try to find out where his dad is and also learn about his lineage because that's the last thing that he uh spoke to his dad about about where he came from, or at least where his mother came from. And that's gonna be the basis behind uh, the majority of this episode, most likely the majority of this whole series uh, that we have right now. He also meets up with Letty, played by Journey Smollett. My girl, I love her. Yeah. Absolutely love her, absolute doll. Uh, she is basically the black sheep of the family. Uh, we, again, they do some really great yeah. uh, character introductions with these, so you know exactly who they are. There's still some mystery there, uh, but with her, we know she's the black sheep of the family. The family don't really F with her like that, so they keep kicking her around, uh, and you know she decides to join him on the journey. Same with Uncle George, a freedom fighter who's been working on uh, various green books to make sure that everybody is safe. Speaking of which, how is it that this show does a better job of explaining what the Green Book is and the importance of it than the movie with the exact name? Of the, oh, the Green Book? Yeah. That's a very good question. I was asking myself the same question. Oh my God. Because in the movie, it was so drawn out. It was just like... Uh, it was okay. the worst. It yeah. was the absolute worst. I yeah. Hated it. And then you see this show and they get right to it. And it's like... It was like, here's the Green Book. Here's what it does. Here's why it's important. Right. And move on. Uh, I think the movie could have did that too. Yeah. And it still would have been a good movie, but okay, whatever. Yeah. But we have uh, uh, Uncle George, who is uh, working with, the, with working with the Freedom Fighters and you know the Green Book, uh, and they're going from Chicago all the way to what was it, New Hampshire, New England? Uh, yeah, New England, somewhere in New, New England, somewhere in Massachusetts. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was, Massachusetts. Yeah, uh, because that's where he learns that uh, that's where uh, his mother's lineage is from. Uh, so he's going out there on this long journey, and while they're there, they're searching for which places are you know safe for black folk during this time because it's the early 50s it's the early 50s and we already had yeah. a couple of run-ins well one with uh a, in a diner who he thought was going to be safe for yeah. black folk but apparently not so much no. uh and they get chased out of town and then another one where he gets run he gets a run into the cops with the whole group yeah that's not fun uh but that's when we first uh, get a real dose of uh, where things aren't exactly how they seem. Uh, that little car chase, uh, like midway through the show, something supernatural ends up happening. And, you know, again, got a lot of mystery going yeah. right there. 
then we re- get the run in with the cops where we finally get some vampire like monsters. Or and we get introduced to some monsters. Yeah, we don't know what they, the they, they, they are. We don't know what they are, but like it is so yeah. it is so good. Yeah. Also Journey, like doing that little, you know, T one thousand run. I'm like, yo, girl, get it. Ain't no tripping, ain't nope. no stumbling. Ain't You're no keeping falling. it moving. Yeah. You're keeping it moving. Ain't you, None you of that falling mm-mm. shit they nope. Mm-mm. Ain't ain't no I sprained my ankle. Yeah. Like no, she's sitting here, she about to be Jackie Jordan Cursey. Yeah. Like, damn. But we get monsters. We get we get people blowing up monsters and learning how to how to fight them. And it's just like boom, we're done. And that's basically the whole whole crux of the episode. It was, yeah. it was incredibly uh, fun. I was not expecting it to go there, but there you go. That's that's this that's a real, real quick. I know. So my, my special self thought it was the whole season because I was like, <laughs> you were you were yeah. hoping to binge like, watch all in one go. On? <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, yeah. There you go. That was the episode one of Lovecraft Country. All right, so I am already in love with this show. Yeah. I'm already in love with the visuals. I'm already in love uh, with how they are showing off the menagerie, uh, the, the the imagery, the, the scenery, imagery. Because yeah. we had some some references to Gordon Parks that that photo uh, with the two women, uh, with the woman and the little girl underneath the for color people only sign. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of those uh, and. Uh, I know there are some people who think this is an exaggeration, but listening to our parents talk about it, you know, the sundown towns they've had, literally where we're living right now, it was a place where uh, our mom and a lot of our family members were like, do not get caught here yeah. after dark. And the, and the sundown towns still exist to this day, yeah, it does. just maybe in different ways, but yeah. they still exist. Uh, where you basically I think we're actually two hours from one right now from where we live yeah we're, we're one that's still around yeah yeah because uh, yeah. it's it, it, ain't, it ain't no joke uh but again as I said I love the imagery I love uh, the dedication to detail uh they they really threw their lot in with how problematic uh you know what fuck problematic how racist H.P. <laughs> Lovecraft yeah. was during a lot of his run, you know, the, the poem about, uh, I can't remember what the poem's name was, but they, they recited a poem where he straight up was like, yeah, no, uh, he threw that N word in there real quick. Yeah, With yeah. quickness and like with his whole chest. Yeah. And, uh, cause that was, that was a relationship that he, uh, that Atticus had with his dad, uh, because he loved all the pulps, uh, loved the, the Lovecraftian, uh, horror genre. He, that was his book selection. And when he started reading that, his dad was like, no, you need to read this to see how he see, thinks about you. And that was also a nice little touch right there because there's so many creators out there who really don't fuck with us. Yeah. You know, us black people. And, you know, we still yeah. end up, you know, still supporting them and grow. And like the very first thing he was like, yo, you might want to put your lot in with, with people who actually, you know, fuck with us. Yeah. So like I, I did like that little part right there. Yeah. Um, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot to like about this. We it really is. It. It, it keeps your attention. It is a lot to like from this. It's so much detail that we can talk about, but yeah. But like, give, give me, give me, give me, give me something that, that you really, really uh, held on to uh, after the uh, show was finished. Because I want to watch it again. I did too. I did too. I really held on to when all three of them got in the car and started going on a road trip. Oh yeah, and then I started seeing that dynamic between the three of them and their relationship, especially with Journey Smollett being in there, and you know because she's a woman. Oh yeah. So it kind of brought all that to the forefront. It's like, yeah, not only are you black dealing with racism, guess what? You get the privilege to be a woman. So guess what? That's how they're gonna treat you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because it's like you would just hear the whole time the uncle. Yeah. Just yell like out. Women don't drive. You're a woman. Your only job is sit back there. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> dude, serious? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, even though like uh, she did, she did end up driving yeah, the same in their did. lives. Uh, she did uh, twice. Say, yeah, you you absolutely right. She she has been she's been the more uh, headstrong uh, one, which honestly is probably why she's the black sheep of the family because yeah. she's more willing to just like jump head first into a situation and you know maybe if not to fix things but just to like you know handle that experience and people really it rubs people the wrong way uh she joins up with her with her sister very early on and you know she's just like hey i need a place to stay and so they got two days 
And she's like, I can't find a job in two days. The very first time that she, yeah. she says that, she's like, well, you think you're going to get a job at the department stores down to her? She's like, yes, I am. I yes. do think that. I do think that I have that ability. And that really hits you right there. It's like, that's who she is. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I think that if I put myself forward, I can do this thing and exist and thrive in this potential new world that we're about to experience. And this is before we even know about freaking monsters yeah. and Lovecraftian yeah. horror around this time. It was, it was. But, All right, I guess that's. Oh yeah, that's about uh, that, it. That, that, that's about it. But yeah. uh, tell us what y'all thought about the first episode of Lovecraft Country. Let us know down below because again, we do like to hear from you, uh, our kaiju faithful. Also, head on over to uh, Patreon.com/slash Hillkaiju. Throw that up there, uh, where we can uh, have some more discussions, uh, give some suggestions for movies and shows that you would like us to watch and cover. Because we uh, do have a, a wealth of love for a lot of shows like these, and, and you know the supernatural or all that good stuff and also participate in polls and also learn about any new updates that we have to the site the store and the channel i want to thank you guys for watching with us and once again catch y'all later deuces bye